promised welcome back again to the Love Vista channel. I am so thankful to have you here once again. And today we are still in the holiday mode, holiday season, yes. And holiday is all about making all the dishes that you've not had in a very long time. And yes, Appa Prensa happens to be one of the dishes that we've not had in decades, literally decades. I had to go back to my dear lovely sister, Quantra's Kitchen. I'm smiling saying her name. I absolutely love her so much. Thank you so much, Quantra's Kitchen, for refreshing my mind because it's been decades. <laughs> so if you want to know more about this dish, please stay tuned and let's do this together. You're going to love this. These are the ingredients I will be using for my apa prensa. So I need my um, palm nut base. I like, I really like the Inclino brand. And I also have my natural spice blend, which I've also shared a video of. And I also have my tomato paste and some herrings, dried herrings. And this is super cool it's salted fish for of course for the soup i will need some vegetables in it i have some eggplants and this is also koto you will need your crab in your preference if not it's not just complete okay so more vegetables here i have one carrot onions and two tomatoes fresh tomatoes and two habanero pepper and i have some red beans this is red kidney beans that i've also cooked already because it takes a pretty much long time for it to of course for the paprensa it's corn meal so you need your corn flour this is what i got i got some yellow corn flour it works perfect i'll be roasting it before i use it so please stay tuned and let's go through it all right so i go ahead to boil a little bit of my palm nut base because it's been in this um container for a very long time and i do not like that strong smell that comes with it you know that preservative that they use to preserve this uh, palm nut it is really very strong so i always love to boil it make it boil a little bit use in my palm nut soup right now we I just like to also um, chop a little bit of onions in and add one teaspoon of my natural spice mix before I go ahead to boil it over okay that's all and then we go ahead to start off with our base of the soup all right yes you have to let it boil just a little bit for maybe 10 minutes go ahead to clean my crab it's just one crab that i'm using so i want to divide it so that it might look like a lot <laughs> yeah i just can't put everything in and i also want to be sure that i don't have any that right in here in by cutting off the um black you know edges that the legs have my grandma always did that so yes i'm doing that too <laughs> yeah just so i can have a clean crab and i go ahead to also take um the body from its shell because sometimes there's a little dirt in here but this was completely fine but i still went ahead to wash it okay so after dividing it i just go ahead to wash it wash the crab for the second time and then we are done with the crab issues right here. <laughs> now let's begin by making our palm nut soup. And to be honest, if you have an already made palm nut soup, you know, hiding somewhere you will skip all this process okay In case that your upper prensa making will be a lot more faster all right so i go ahead to add my spice mix i use the fish one please i have a video of how i blend everything so i'm going to link it right here so please do well to check it out and i also go ahead to add 
my vegetables all that i listed before and add a little bit of oil and a pinch of and because of the super coat that you'll be using you have to really mind the salt content as well so minutes of steaming i see that my vegetables are cooked well so i just go ahead to take them off and mind you this is not a very detailed um, palm nut soup that you're making we're just making a base simple one that we can make um, we can do our pepper and salad with okay so i go ahead to add my homemade tomato paste i have also shared a video of how i make my homemade tomato paste i will link everything down below you just allow it to steam for a good seven minutes here my palm nut base has been also boiling or cooking for the past 10 minutes so i think it's perfect now it's time to go into the base of the soup and the soup will be ready very very soon so i just go ahead to also add the veggie blended vegetables not looking for a very thick thick soup so i go ahead and add about one and a half cup of water and i just allow it to boil over for the next 10 to 12 minutes Ta-da! You have been quite is so ready. So I go ahead to prepare my roasted corn flour, right? As a lot of people also use Tom Brown, but I don't think that is the best. You can absolutely use it, but if you want to really, really make the real authentic one, you have to use your roasted corn homemade i looked at my sister one of my favorite one of the queens out here kwan chua's kitchen i refreshed my mind on this meal and, and she had one of the best apa prancer recipe out here and thank you so much sis for refreshing my mind you are amazing so amazing Please make sure your heat is on a very low heat and just be careful because it can easily burn and when it burns it will be very bitter and your upper prensa will taste really bitter so please take note of that so once your color changes to this beautiful brownish color you know that yes you have arrived your corn roasted corn flour is ready to be used for your upper prancer and no it's not difficult to get your corn flour this is actually used for polenta you can get it and you're at your closest shop so do not worry it doesn't take a lot if you really want to do it you go get it and you will get the perfect upper prancer you've been craving for so i go ahead to take all my crops and the super cool <laughs> from my soup because we're going to mix it and we do not need any interruption from these guys okay <laughs> go ahead to scoop um some of the soup it's almost like half of it i just scoop it because i will need it later on because as you put your corn flour it gets thicker and thicker so you need to also add just like you're making banku right when you're making it it gets thicker and it double rises so yeah you you will need to add a little bit of soup to make it a bit softer all right once the base is good enough for you you just lower your heat and then pour out your um, roasted corn and then you mix it thoroughly this makes it very well so that it does not create any lumps at all or all right and please be careful not to put it on a very high heat begin what on a low heat then you just hire it once it's all mixed well so as you can see it's getting thicker so i just go ahead to scoop um, more of the soup this is what i was talking about you just scoop some of the soup to it and then stir it again you do this for about 15 to 20 good minutes i like to make sure that my corn flour is well cooked so that nobody ends up 
having a runny stomach <laughs> but it's not likely to happen you just have to make sure it is well well cooked Mm, I am loving the texture right now. It is getting thicker and just more interesting. I love this so much. This dish, you are not going to see it every day, anywhere. Like maybe you see jollof or your wachi. It is made on special, special occasions. So yeah, once in a while, if you've not tried this, I bet you have to try it because you're going to love it and maybe add it to your holiday meals yeah so what i did is i also closed it and steam it for a good seven to eight minutes and goes in my red cooked kidney beans i cooked it aside way before i started because it kind of take a long time for it to cook okay so yes your paprasadia all that you need is your red beans your koto you know and that is it your perfect apapransa is so so ready this is the food that you eat and you prapra yonsa <laughs> if you've ever lived with your grandma or maybe lived in an a remote area then i'm just so sure this dish is just screaming out to you you know it already if you've never come across this dish ever then you are most welcome it is one of the Ghanaian, you know traditional very very traditional from my gas yes they originated this delicious delicacy and it's so 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 good and recently it's so lovely that you can actually find it in your at your engagement parties you know big big you know kings and queens parties this food will be present so yeah do check it out and try it sometimes and you will know why the guns love this so much yes so we are done and we're about to plate it and of course Team Gane Shen Gang, where are you? <laughs> I am consulting you right now. We are about to garnish this food. The way the vapor is coming and the aroma here, fam, you need it to be here. And of course, the garnishing team, the main member or the main leader here is our crab. Yes, our okoto. It makes this dish one of a kind. And once everything comes together like that, oh my, oh my, just scoop a little bit of the soup and make it look saucy, okay? Saucy. I do not like to put too much oil on this one. Just a little bit of soup and it's good to go. This one is Ophie Enifie Ankasa. But still, I consulted my team garnishing again and they needed some fresh, fresh, onion appeal on top and yes our delicious and most authentic apa prensa is so so ready and we're about to serve it this dish it's for the kings and queens trust me fam if you i know by now my grandma will be very 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 proud of me and thanks to Quantura sketching she actually refreshed my mind on how my grandma made this thank you so much sis this is so tasty fam it is so 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 yummy and my husband was so proud of me because he, he told me that his mom used to sell this so his mom is an expert yes uh, so if you're watching this i hope you're proud of me i made justice to the food that you were selling yes so so yummy fam you need to try this always remember granny serving grandpa with a soup on the side and yes that is exactly what i'm doing and yes it makes so much sense because this is a bit thick so once you scoop a little bit of um your soup and you drink it it's just perfect okay so yeah that is it for you family
so yes family dinner lunch is served and we have our sobolo on the side and yes this dish would definitely make you forget all the problems that is happening in this world i mean what else do you have to think of <laughs> you have everything in front of you and yes i have also a link to my sobolo video in the description box i will list everything there so please do well to check it out so there you have it family i do hope you enjoyed this recipe and i hope i brought fresh memories back to you and please do well to try it this holiday season for the family if this is your first time here please consider subscribing and join the family for amazing new recipes every week and do not also forget to click on the notification bell so thank you so much once again family and i will see you in my next video remember to stay safe and happy happy holidays 